how's it going everybody welcome back and uh, for today's video i have a retro review on the google pixel 2. And i'm going to talk just about as much as i can about this phone and give you guys an idea of how it's going to work out for you in 2021. possibly you may have broken your phone and it's not time for you to upgrade and you need something reliable that's going to get you through well the google pixel 2 is no slouch there are some caveats i will mention them but i also tell you the good things about it so let's just kind of go into it first of all it does sport the older 16 by 9 aspect ratio display with the top top forehead and bottom chin bezels that people don't like that houses front firing speakers which is a plus in my book now real quick i just kind of want to point out that this device is connected to visible and can make text messages and phone calls I do have a video tutorial on how to get that working. Even though Visible says that the Google Pixel 2 and 2XL is not supported by Visible, there is a way to get it working. And since it's no longer getting software updates, it's not going to break the connection for calls and texting. Um, but yes, as you guys can see, I just sent a text message to my fiance as a test. You guys just seen it right now. It went through. So yes, Visible is working on the Google Pixel 2. But it does work with any other carriers such as AT&T, Verizon, T-Mobile, as well as their MVNOs, prepaids. So you're covered here with the unlocked model, and uh, it'll be good to go in any carrier here in the U.S. Now, um, let me go ahead and, and uh, show you guys that it is on Android 11, and the last software update it got was on uh, October of 2020. So where do you see it? October 5th, 2020 was the last uh, Android security update so it is no longer getting Android security updates that is a caveat there that you guys got to keep in mind but again um, there is custom ROMs and there's a lot of development for Google Pixel phones to keep the life going in them um, to an extent as uh, some of the things you have to consider with this obviously LTE band um, compatibility is going to be one big thing you're going to have to look at but I can confirm that this uh, this does get some of today's bands that's available, not all of them. And definitely, if you're looking for a 5G phone, this is not going to be the phone for you. As when the Google Pixel 2 released, 5G was not around. So keep that in mind. Um, however, let me download CPU-Z so you guys can see the specifications and detail of the device. But I do know it has a Snapdragon uh, 835 as the processing chip. And I believe 4 gigabytes of RAM. Um, I may be a little off there as I'm just spitballing it. So, um, but anyways, here's the specifications you guys can see right there. You guys can see Snapdragon 835 clocked at 2.46 gigahertz. So, um, yeah. And, uh, there it has the Adreno uh, 540. So that's the GPU for graphics. Um, but we'll go through various different points of it. Um, and as it's going through that, let me just kind of tell you guys some other things here to kind of think about. Now, this does have an eSIM, so it does have uh, eSIM support. If your carrier allows that, you can actually use the eSIM rather than a physical SIM card. But it that stands for uh, dual SIM single standby or dual SIM dual standby. So you cannot run two SIMs at the same time. Um, and that's going to be slightly a bummer. <laughs> so uh, just let you guys know that. But it does have eSIM support. Um, with that, I do have to say that the audios on this thing, you can't really expect it to be held against today's de uh, devices that have much better audio quality. But it is nice to have a phone that has front-firing speakers, as if you're into gaming or, you know, you can play Stadia on this phone. But um, the sound blasting towards you is probably a lot better than it blasting from the bottom, which can get muffled by your hands. The camera is still solid. The Sony IMX363 is the camera sensor. It's the same sensor you will find in today's Pixel 5. Um, so a lot of things that happens with Google Photos has to do with the software itself. Now, hopefully with the Pixel 6, they will update to a newer camera sensor. But nonetheless, this phone still takes great photos. As you guys can see, some of these photo samples here I have on the display for you guys. It will show you guys it takes good photos. Video is still pretty decent, okay? If, if you're going to compare it for, like, cinematography, then you might find some, some issues with it. But me, as a point-and-shooter, as a guy to record, like a, like, a vlog or maybe live stream to Facebook or Instagram, the camera gets the job done. Um, the, front, the selfie cam, front-facing camera, 
uh, pretty good itself too, you guys can see. I took this portrait pretty close, so it didn't really kind of blur. Plus, there wasn't too much to the background anyways to really blur. But it, it takes pretty good portrait shots. Uh, in general, with the with the Pixel 2, like I said, it would be a great backup phone. Or even a, a phone to use until your upgrade comes through in case you busted your, your main daily driver. It's one of those things. But if you just want to have a phone, a retro phone that is solid and as your daily driver, this will fit the bill as your daily driver. It actually will. And... For body size, it is the same height and nearly the same width as my Pixel 5. You guys can see here side by side. Um, so, yeah, it's just got that retro feel. Still snappy, still quick, takes good pictures. It's a, it's a general decent phone. And like I said, with Google Pixels, they get better over time. And the Google Pixel 2 proves that. So thanks for checking out my video. If you guys enjoyed it, you guys know what to do. Smash the like button. That really helps out. Uh, share this video for other people to kind of check it out. And don't forget to subscribe to catch more videos like this. I'll catch you all in the next one. As always, law.